Before commencing a patient on non-invasive ventilation therapy, also referred to as NIV, you need to establish why it has been prescribed. The primary goal of NIV therapy is to improve gas exchange for patients suffering from acute respiratory distress. This may be caused by either type 1, hypoxemic, or type 2, hypercapnic respiratory failure. NIV is contraindicated if the patient cannot maintain their own airway. For example, when the patient has decreased or fluctuating level of consciousness, vomiting, untreated pneumothorax, facial fractures, and nosebleeds. Any of those conditions make the patient ineligible for NIV therapy. Patient compliance is essential. Therefore, confused patients who may struggle to remember or comply with instructions may not be able to tolerate NIV therapy. NIV will be prescribed in one of two modalities. These are CPAP, which is a single pressure mode, or BiPAP, which is a dual pressure mode. CPAP, or continuous positive airway pressure, refers to a positive airway pressure being maintained. Positive end expiratory pressure, PEEP, maintains airway pressure above atmospheric pressure at the end of expiration. CPAP primarily involves oxygenation by increasing functional residual capacity and may increase lung compliance and decrease the work of breathing. For BiPAP therapy, there are two pressure settings that are titrated according to the therapeutic goals set by the medical team. IPAP, inspiratory positive airway pressure. This setting assists in increasing tidal volume and therefore is effective in treating hypercapnia through manipulation of minute volume. EPAP, expiratory positive airway pressure. This setting raises the pressure at the end of the expiration. This is effective in improving hypoxia by recruiting and splinting open the alveoli. This increases surface area for gas exchange. The medical team must document initial settings, the therapeutic goals, and an escalation plan for the patient receiving NIV.